Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Luca, and today we're doing yet another speed build in The Sims 4. Today I am in the beautiful world of Newcrest. It's been a minute since I've built here for some reason, and today I am back in my base game only save file. And uh, I know what you're thinking. All the textures look a little bit different. Um, I have some override mods installed. These are not going to affect your game whatsoever if you download these builds they will not it's not being marked as cc either so it's really easy to find these homes on the gallery at least any time i use these overrides but i'll leave them linked in the description if i can find them i will also leave linked in the description the sunblind mod that is another lighting mod that i have so it looks so much nicer in my game right now but today i am building this tiny little family home uh i actually was kind of shocked on how small i was able to make Make it and it still be two bedrooms uh, but this is a home for a young couple with a new baby and uh, I gave them a little like it's not really like a nursery yet it's kind of like they started the nursery maybe they had the baby early or maybe they're about to have the baby I don't know I realized I hadn't really built a home like that before um, I've always built like a home that already had kids or teenagers but I never really thought to do like a nursery that's you know like you know about to be used if that makes sense like they're just about to have the baby or they just had the baby and they're still kind of getting things sorted um but yeah i wanted this to just be a cozy little you know not super expensive uh you know little starter home sort of it's the concept of a starter home but it's probably it's definitely more than twenty thousand simoleons uh but it's it's got the vibes and that's that's all that matters here like i mentioned before this is fully base game only so you won't need any packs whatsoever no cc no mods no nothing so uh you'll be able to download this pretty easily as long as you have the sims 4 base game which is also free uh but yeah it's just a cozy little kind of green and white uh little cottagey home uh that i built on this 20 by 15 in new crest uh, i build here a lot i love this lot but for some reason with the overrides that i'm using it just looks extra nice right now like ooh, doesn't it just look so good i i'm obsessed this home actually was inspired by a home near me actually um i won't say where um, I live in Eastern Kentucky, but I found uh, just on Google Maps, I was looking around my city and, uh, you know, I was just like kind of browsing through like the neighborhoods and such uh, because I, for some reason, Eastern Kentucky homes, Eastern Kentucky homes, I can't say that very fast. But it's my accent. Um, but yeah, the, the homes here, they just hit different. Uh, so I was just like browsing around and I found uh, just this cute little house and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna build this cute little house. I was really like obsessing over it for some reason. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a really, really good way to find build inspiration. If you're kind of stuck or if you're not sure what to build, honestly, just look around your town, look around your city and find something that way, because, um, you're going to know it pretty well, you know, because it's from your town and, um, you can kind of match the vibes if that makes sense. Now, obviously this isn't like an exact exact recreation of that home that I found uh, by any means. It's it's definitely just an inspiration, but uh, I love it. It's super cute. It's super small, um, but it is two bedrooms, uh, which kind of shocked me because I remember once I, because I was working on this part of the build where I was just kind of like, you know, doing terrain paint, doing the exterior. I was like, not really sure where I was going to be a after a certain point with this build. Uh, but I was like, oh, I'm really liking this. But I had that in the back of my mind. I was like, the floor plan is going to be really hard, but it worked out, honestly. And uh, I loved that. And um, I also was trying to not be such a perfectionist with this build. And I think it worked out. So I'm patting myself on my little back here. I kept the landscaping very simple. Um, honestly, I was just looking at the Google Maps, the street view, uh, like picture that I had. And I was just like, you know what? They don't have like lush landscaping on every little spot. It's not like perfectly manicured. It's just like, you know, a couple flowers here and there. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing overwhelming. 
Uh, and I liked that about it. It just felt more realistic to do it this way. So I think that's what I'm going to do uh, with this save file because um, I do have my OG save file that I'm working on, just kind of my open-ended builds and such stuff like that. But I'm doing a base game only save because I was like, I need another project to start because my ADHD doesn't like to just focus on one thing. So, uh, but this is really easy for me to do because it's base game only. I don't really have to think too much with these builds. In fact, I was so inspired after doing this build, I started another one. I know. Uh, but this is where I'm kind of trying to figure out the floor plan. I did have to kind of work with it a little bit. Um, I just had to extend a room here and there just to kind of, you know, at least give them some space, but uh, it didn't really affect the overall vibe that I was going for. Um, I was also playing around with making this room here the living room, but I was like, well, what am I going to do with the rest of this room? Like the front entrance, I was like, I can't just make this a whole kitchen. That just seems kind of dumb, you know? And I was like, a big kitchen like this for a one bedroom house, that doesn't make sense to me either. And I was also trying to think of, you know, at least when it comes to like older houses here in Eastern Kentucky, um, even if they're renovated, like older houses, we don't, we don't really have open plan concepts that, that doesn't exist here. Usually. I mean, there's like the new nice homes, you know, those possibly, um, but th there's not that many new nice homes here, uh, in Eastern Kentucky. There's a lot of old nice homes and then old, not so nice homes. Um, but you don't really see a whole lot of newly built homes here. And honestly, I'm just, I'm just going to be honest. I hate open plan concepts. I think open plan homes where it's like kitchen, living, dining, all in one room. I hate those. Like not so bad in the Sims. They're, they're all right in the Sims, but uh, real life, I don't like it. It's too open. It's too big. I like things to kind of be in their own sections of the house. Uh, my actual, the, my in real life house uh, is like that. It's all different rooms and it feels good. Even though the rooms are big, big and special it still feels good to have, you know, the living room as a living room, the kitchen as a kitchen. Um, we don't have a dining space, but you know, still, you know, this house kind of gives me vibes of my own house in a way, uh, because it's literally from near me. So it makes sense, you know, but I do enjoy this house a lot. Um, it took me a little bit to kind of figure out the colors, but, um, I was realizing too, doing base game only builds, I've can't really be super picky with colors. I can't be matchy matchy. I can't really do like a color scheme uh, because there's not going to be a lot of variety if I do it like that. So um, I honestly was just kind of going with what looked good in the moment. Um, just whatever colors felt nice. It didn't have to be perfectly matchy matchy. The wood tones, I didn't even match the wood tones all the way. Uh, I just kind of kept it, you know, feeling all right. I also imagined that the other bedroom where it's the nursery used to be an office uh, but it's kind of like transitioning into a nursery because they have like the baby stuff in there but they still have like a few like hobby items and some storage and stuff in there and they moved their like laptop into this little corner in the living space up front um, but yeah I, I don't know I just love this home it's super simple super cute and um, I don't know I think the layout is just right when it comes to space wise, I was really worried when I started building, like I said earlier, I was like, I'm worried that it's not going to have a lot of space, even though I build tiny homes and small houses a lot. Um, I don't know. I just felt like what I was going for, I wasn't going to be able to do that, but it worked out in the end and I'm pretty happy about it. The living space is just kind of small. It's bright and cozy though. At the same time, it has enough space for everything. Um, the kitchen was a little bit tricky. Um, I did have to kind of finagle the walls there just, just so that they had enough space for a dining table. Cause I was like, they have to have somewhere to eat. I mean, I, you don't have to necessarily, but realistically, there's at least going to be enough space for a table and some chairs, even if it's just two chairs. Uh, but I did three in this house, so it worked out. Um, it, I just made it work, but um, you can see here I used this kind of ugly tiling. Uh, I, I say ugly, not in that I think it's ugly. It's just, you know, the look, it's kind of like dated. We'll say dated. Um, it's a very dated looking tiling tiling, but I kind of love it. I don't know. It just adds to the charm of this home. Um, cause I honestly, 
here in Eastern Kentucky, we're kind of poor. If y'all can't tell, we're a little bit of, uh, you know, not everybody's got a lot of money. And uh, even the people that got money, that's not, that's still not a lot of money in the grand scheme of things, um, especially in this day and age. But uh, a lot of homes are just kind of, you know, w- what it is, you know, the, the floors aren't perfect, the walls aren't perfect, the cabinets aren't perfect, you know, your furniture might be a little worn, but you know, that's, that's the point of th- these builds is to kind of just make lived in realistic homes. And I think I, I think I got it. I think I did a good job here. The kitchen definitely looks a little dated. It's kind of this pinkish tone with the weird dated flooring and the old cabinets, but I don't know. It's a vibe. I like it. Um, it's, it's perfect. It's actually a, uh, really good layout because it's the triangle layout. It's pretty small, but you know what? That's that, honestly, that's all you need. And you can see like the, the shape, the table and chairs, they don't really match anything else. Uh, I think it works. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm hitting a little bit of a revelation with building, I guess. And I feel good about it. Uh, But yeah, what have y'all been building? What have y'all been up to in your games? Do let me know in the comments. I really appreciate any comments y'all leave. Uh, Whether whether it's even you saying hello, whether it's you saying goodbye. (laughs) I'm kidding. Uh, But, you know, just leave a comment, even telling me just how your day is, honestly, because uh, it really does help out the algorithm for me. It really does support the channel. You would think, like, just anything random, it doesn't matter, because... Any interaction I get on the videos helps me out. Which, by the way, I'm sorry if I beat this uh, beat this over your head. Uh, if you you know if you en- are enjoying the video, please hit the like button. Please comment. Please subscribe if you aren't already, because it would really help support the channel. It would really help me out. Uh, I kind of have been a little bit a little bit of a struggle bus with my YouTube channel, but uh, I just I'm just trying to loosen up. I'm trying to not be so hard on myself about it because. You know, I just, I just got to do my thing and just keep going forward. I just rambled through the little bathroom here. Um, I love the bathroom. It's kind of run down looking. It's definitely well used. It's kind of messy. Uh, there's a little hamper in here with a pile of clothes, but um, it's got a lot of yellow accents in it, which I think is really cute. I also put a basket, like a laundry basket here and some folded clothes. Cause I was like, maybe the Sim is folding their laundry and they're just like sitting and watching TV. Cause that's what I do. Right. Um, but here is me working on the nursery as well. Um, I just put in the little crib and I put a few kids toys. Well, not kids toys, but like decor for kids and toddlers and such. Um, I did a few things, but not everything. There is like a little, um, a little potty and a little, like, what is it called? A high chair. Uh, you can tell, I don't really play with kids very much in this game, but, um, yeah, there's a little potty and high chair. So it's got the stuff that you need for your infants and your toddlers and such. Um, but but uh, it's like a transition. You know, they just had the baby. Maybe the baby, like maybe the bassinet, uh, which I didn't place one, but maybe they keep their bassinet in the bedroom and it's just like, oh, we're, we're working on that right now. Uh, so I thought that was a kind of a fun little concept to try. I placed like a few books here and there, a little chair. Maybe they do come in here and read to the, you know, the little baby or something, or, you know, maybe they I don't know. I don't know what they do, but uh, I also put in an easel in here. Maybe this is just where they're kind of keeping it for now because maybe they, you know, maybe one of the Sims paints on occasion and this is just, maybe this was their office or their studio or something or I don't really know. Maybe this was their intention on making it a studio and then they got pregnant or something. Who knows? Can I just say I love the giraffe from the base game? I don't ever use it, but I, every time I see it, I'm like, oh, so cute. I love it. I wish we had more things like that in the game, just like cute animals, uh, which we do have some. Uh, we pl- we definitely have some, but uh, I, I wish we had more, especially zoo animals, because I don't know, it speaks to me as a, you know, when I was a kid, my mom, my mom's an artist, so uh, this is a very unique experience. Uh, but Uh, my mom painted a bunch of zoo animals like all over my walls in my bedroom when I was a kid and like she did so many like so many so much of variety and she put like their names next to all of them and I just oh I loved it so every time I see a zoo animal I think of that or an animal that could be in a zoo if that makes sense anyways uh moving on to the parents bedroom just a very simple bedroom it's a base game only home so there's not a whole lot I could do with the bedroom uh but I just made it you know light blue colors just kind of calming and serene and simple uh kept it basic honestly it, they're they're a young couple they're still like 
they're still saving money for their you know for their baby so you know they just got a cheap bed from ikea basically that's their that's their vibes but yeah this home was a lot of fun um, just looking around like my neighborhood was a lot of fun because like the thing is well not my neighborhood but sort of uh, the thing is I was doing that for a bit I was looking through uh, Street View on Google Maps and looking like in other places that I have never been before obviously like I was going to like like Washington State or like New Mexico or just somewhere that was completely different from where I was from and I was looking at the houses and I was like getting inspired by them but I was also like not that into them at the same time. I was not feeling so um, like connected, I guess, because I wasn't from those areas. And uh, when I did it here, I was like, oh, I feel connected because I, I feel like I've been in this house before. You know, I, I actually haven't, but I've been in a house just like it. So uh, just a really fun little tidbit. If Again, I'm repeating myself because I have ADHD, but uh, a really fun thing to do. And here I am decorating the, you know, the front porch. I was just thinking about like how the Sims would sit out here in the evenings with the porch light on and, you know, they could hear the, the crickets. I could just... I know the vibes because I, I did that a lot growing up because I lived in the country in Eastern Kentucky and, you know, you sit on your front porch out in the evening and just enjoy the nice weather. You know, you, you enjoy the, the nature and stuff. You don't just, you know, sit, hold up in your house. So, uh, I don't know, but, uh, I gave them a little back patio as well with a little grill. Uh, I didn't really do a whole lot back here. I think I put a few garden boxes, of course. I'm going to put those in like every single build I do. I don't care what it is. They, it's going to get a garden box because that is my experience growing up. My mom had them growing up when I was a, you know, a kid and a teenager. You know, my parents had a garden growing up. Everybody in my family has a garden. It does not matter who they are. They have a garden with their own vegetables and their own stuff planted and growing and they eat and they put in the freezer like corn and potatoes and tomatoes and green beans and cucumbers and literally everything you can imagine. And one day when I have my own actual house, because I rent right now and I have a house, but I don't have the space outside. But one day when I have my own home, I am definitely going to have such a big garden. I'm going to grow so many different things and I'm so, so excited at just the thought of it. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Uh, once again, if you did, please hit the like button and just let me know in the comments if you want to uh, want me to build anything different. If you want to maybe let me know of a location that would be fun. Just let me know of a rough location and anywhere in the world and just be like, hey, you should look at this, these homes here and uh, maybe you'll get inspired. Let me know in the comments. It's always so, so fun to go on Street View and Google Maps. I kind of get lost in it sometimes because it's so fun. This home is available on the gallery under my user ID, Luca Owens. That is L-U-C-C-A-O-W-E-N-S. And this information will be in the description down below as well. Thank you all so, so very much for watching. Stay weird. And I'll speak to y'all next time. Bye, y'all.